Okay, this is just a quick video. I know tons of people are making masks, and there's videos on masks all over the internet how to make them. I'm not going to tell you how to make a mask. There are every kind of mask imaginable out there, and my wife's been making tons of them. The problem is, Alaska's dick is becoming very difficult to come by, and so normally people are sewing on something like ribbon or string, and then they have to tie it. Well, that's still a pain in the butt to put the mask on and off, so you end up with a lot of people that choose not to wear it or not to try to make it because they don't have a sewing machine or something. I just want to give another alternative. Instead of having, you know, like this, my wife sewed on some strings and, um, and having strings that we can tie around the back of our head, we can have something like this where you can put it over the ears and adjust it down so it fits the ear properly and the mask fits the face exactly as it's supposed to. Uh, this is real simple, can be made with anything you have at home. All it is, is just a piece of something that you can put your strings through. In this case, this is actually a new fuel line for a uh, riding lawnmower, but it, it surgical, um, the surgical rubber would work great. Uh, vacuum line, even those beads that you, uh, that, that kids make their strings with, you just have to be able to put it through and it's got, it's got a little bit of tension on it so it won't easily fall back off. You put it through to the size you're going to need, tie off your end, and uh, then when you put it on the ear, it just simply adjusts down and it'll stay because when you're on your ear, you're going to be putting pressure and it doesn't want to come off very easily. So then if you need to loosen it, just pull it back up. That gives you a real easy way to do it. You can do the same thing with vacuum hose and shoelaces. You would cut a piece of that vacuum hose off. Uh, not exactly prepared for this, but you just cut a small piece off about the size of a bead, like that. And then you would take your shoelaces that you've already sewn or tied to the corner of your fabric. So you have two pieces, bring them together. You would take those two ends and stuff them through. Now obviously trying to stuff through that tiny little hole is gonna be really difficult. So get something like toothpicks or whatever you have to get both pieces through that hole. If you don't have any of this, a simple nut would work great. A socket, quarter inch socket, or even a straw. Because you could put both these through a straw, just cutting a piece off of that straw. It's obviously not going to be permanent, but if you just need to make a quick mask, take a bandana, double it over, tie four, four strings or four small pieces of rope to that bandana, you, uh, you've got yourself a mask. And then instead of having to tie it around your head every single time, you can just put this through the straws everybody has in their kitchen. There we go. I could have been better prepared for this, but... Simply push your string through, and now... If you've got this tied to the two corners of the bandana, you put it over your ear and that'll pull it down, cinching it to your ear and keeping everything tight. Uh, it's a real simple way to make adjustable masks, whether you're going to sew them, whether it's something for emergency for you, um, that you can put on your face and take off without having to constantly tie it around the back of your head. So, just wanted to give you guys some other ideas other than having to run out and uh, put yourself in danger trying to find elastic or trying to trying to find all this specialty material. Almost anything around your house that has a hole in there that you can match up to a piece of string, a piece of um, ribbon, or even that uh, cotton rope that guys use to tie down loads on their truck. Same thing. That, that thin cotton rope could be put through a nut tied to a to a bandana and you've got yourself a uh, mask. Anything you can do to help block the spittle from someone coughing or from you being uh, able to transmit and not knowing it will stop this. So, hope you guys like it. If you like this video, like, subscribe, and leave me a message and I will record a lot more of the little projects I do around the house.